Welcome to my 238th video on my work with OO Gauge. This video will be by way of a follow-up to my previous video about Hornby 00 three-rail articulated coaches, where I featured a pair of these coaches that I finally managed to buy on eBay, and then covered my efforts to expand the articulated rake from two coaches to three. I wasn't very happy that my three-coach articulated rake ended up having noticeably differently sized gaps between the front two coaches and the back two. I figured out why that was, and in this video I'll show the cause of the unequal gaps and I'll have a go at fixing the problem, hopefully leading to some more running video of the three coach articulated rake with corrected gaps. So, as I showed in my previous video, part 237, I finally managed to buy a pair of Hornby 00 Crimson Articulated Coaches on eBay, and seeing how the articulated coaches worked, I adapted another tin plate non-corridor coach to expand the articulated rake to three coaches. But I was somewhat unhappy to find that, despite my efforts to measure and duplicate, the two intercoach gaps in my rake came out noticeably different in size. You may see here that the gap between the front two coaches is clearly larger than the gap between the back two. Here's the wider front gap. And here's the narrower back gap. I wasn't initially clear why the gaps came out this way. Here you can see the original articulating bogey that came with the two coach Hornby set at the back and my improvised articulating bogey at the front. Although I thought that they might, these don't provide any explanation of the different gap sizes, as the distance between the pins by which the coaches are attached is very close to equal on the two bogies. Here you can see the ends of the two original double articulated coaches, specifically the ends with the holes for joining to the articulating bogey. And as I realized whilst editing my previous video, this explains the difference in the size of my gaps. You can see here that the two coaches have their holes for joining to the articulating bogey at very different distances from the end of the coach. When I was setting up my additional coach for articulation, I foolishly assumed that the holes would be a standard distance from the end of the coach, and so I only measured one of the original coaches. It happened that the one that I measured was the one with the hole a short distance from the end of the coach, so I made both of the holes on my additional coach the same distance from the end of the coach as the shorter of the two original coaches. Here you can see my additional coach at the back with its hole the same distance from the end of the floor as the shorter of the two original double O hole distances. Assuming a standard distance, I made both of my holes that shorter distance from the end of the coach as seen at top here. Now, the two holes on my additional coach were both the short distance from the end of the coach, whereas the front original coach had its hole the short distance from the end, and the back original coach had its hole the long distance from the end. I've indicated short and long hole distances here with the letters S for short and L for long. So, if the distance between the pins on the bogey is B, the front gap will be B minus 2S in size, whereas the back gap will be B minus S minus L, obviously smaller, as L is greater than S. The holes closest to the end were approximately 10.5 millimeters in. I measured the distance now to the centre of the hole the longer distance in, and that proved to be just over 14.5 millimetres, so a little over 4 millimetres further from the end, making for a gap a little over 4 millimetres larger. Well, smaller, really, because the further in the hole is, the smaller the gap gets. Would I be able to modify my additional coach to even out the pairing of the hole distances and so even out the gaps? Well, to do that I would need to modify the hole at the front end of my additional coach to be the longer distance in. I measured the larger distance in from the end and marked the position with a pencil cross mark on my centre line, 
Not a lot of distance between the hole I originally made and where I now wanted to make a new hole. I removed the roof from the additional coach to allow me to work on making the new hole. The roof is removed by pressing in the top of the side and lifting the roof up. I stood the coach upside down on a piece of wood and used a centre punch to indent the position for the new hole. I did this because it would otherwise be very difficult to start a drill bit accurately on precisely the right position. I drilled a new hole based on the punch indent. The new hole was very close to the original one, but not actually touching, so I thought that I should be able to get things to work OK. I wanted to close up the original hole so that I would be able to get the bogey pin reliably into the new correct hole when joining up the coaches on the track. I thought that the simplest way to do this would be just to put a piece of strong tape over the original hole, and I got out some Gorilla duct tape for this purpose. I cut a piece of the black Gorilla tape to the right size and stuck it over the original hole. You can see that there are bumps under the tape at the end of the coach. Those bumps are caused by the tabs attaching the end of the coach to the floor, as seen here at the other end. One of those tabs at the other end appeared a bit loose, so I flattened it down, the closer one as seen here. I don't think that these tabs should cause a problem with the articulating bogey. I fitted the roof back onto my additional coach. Now my additional coach has a large hole distance at the front and a short hole distance at the back on the right here. Since the front original coach has a short hole distance and the back original coach has a long hole distance, this should mean that now both gaps will result from combined short and long hole distances and should now both be equal at B minus S minus L. I joined the coaches back up on my three rail tracks. The two gaps did now look basically equal. Here's the front gap. And here's the back gap. The hole in the centre of the bogey is in a different position, but that's just because I happen to rail one bogey facing in the opposite direction to the other. It really shouldn't make any difference which way the bogey is facing, although I could make both gaps look the same by railing both bogeys the same way. Here's the modified rake going round a standard 003 rail curve equal to modern first radius. The gaps are basically equal and the rake is able to get round the curves without any interference between the coaches. So now I'll just finish with some running video of the modified articulated rake. OK, let me see if I can just show this. Uh articulated three coach set running after my attempt to fix the gaps famous lessons it can actually started this time the engine can be a bit reluctant about starting it seems to go mostly once it's going but sometimes it sticks a little bit I'll try and take it slow down here a bit and go a little faster around See, I don't know, I think the gaps are about even now, aren't they? I don't know what it's about. Certainly closer to even now than they were. I'm just trying to pass a bit slow there by the other camera, a little teeny bit faster than I As if I don't make things difficult enough for myself, I'm trying, trying, trying to work two cameras at once. And one's, one is handheld, one's on a tripod. Of course, I can't work two handheld cameras and tr operate a train. Oh, and I thought all the clocks had finished chiming, but apparently not. But, you know, I think, well, the gaps may not be precisely the same size, but they're pretty close now. I think they're pretty close. I think certainly don't think we're going to muck around anymore. That's it, basically. Anything for work on this three-coach articulated set.